at this point we've been able to look at how we can access a route only when we have provided valid jwt now at this point we do not have any error handlers for the different things that may occur or for the different scenarios in which we may go wrong when providing our tokens now there may be scenarios in which you may provide an invalid token or where you have a missing token or why you actually even provide an expired token because these jwts are actually short-lived tokens so we're going to look at how we can be able to implement those scenarios now lucky for us flash jwt extended provides a list of or a bunch of decorators that can help us to define such error handlers so these functions will be called every time we basically land into those issues where we have an expired token an invalid token or a missing token now to begin what we're going to do is to basically define a home and right here so i'm just going to call this a jwt error handlers And once we have this, we're going to begin by basically uh, defining an error handler for an expired token. So to do that, we're going to basically call our JWT object. So we shall say at JWT dot, in this case, we shall call the expired token loader. So this is the decorator that we're going to use. And after defining it, we have to define the function that's going to return the response that's customized in a way that is going to tell us clearly what happened so to do that what we're going to do is to define here so we're going to call this the expired token callback so this is going to be a callback function that will be called in case we provide an expired token so this takes in two arguments it's going to take in the first argument which is going to be the jwt header and it will also take in the jwt data and once we've done that what we shall do is to go ahead and return the response so to do that we shall just come and say return and in this case we're going to use the json5 function from flask to return a json response so what i'll do is to go at the top right here and i'm going to go ahead and import json5 so i'll come right down here and all i have to say is return json5 and then i'll return the appropriate response in case we provide an expired token so in this case what i'll do is to provide a message and what i'll say is that uh, token has expired and then we shall go ahead and basically provide an error message so let me say that we shall also provide one error so just come right here and say error and then we shall provide our error which is going to be our token expired so i'll just basically call this error token expired and this will be just enough to basically return a response in case our token has expired now we're going to also add one for when we have an invalid token so to do that we shall do is to simply do the same thing that we've done right here so instead of having jwt expired token loader in this case we're going to say a jwt dot this case is going to be our invalid token loader and then we shall define our callback function which is going to be invalid so let me actually increase the font a little bit so that you guys can see now this will be invalid token callback and what we shall have in here is going to simply be the error and then we shall return the appropriate response so what i'll do is to just copy what we have here and then i'll paste it right here and then instead of having the token expired in this case what we're going to say is this is what we shall return in case someone provides a jwt that basically has a wrong signature verification or something that's not actually a jwt so what we shall do is to provide a signature verification failed as the error so in this case shall say signature verification failed and in this case shall provide that error so in this case it's going to be invalid token so this is when they fail to provide the real valid jwt so shall say invalid token 
and once you've done that then we shall also go ahead and define one for when they do not actually provide the token now to do that what shall call is the at jwt dot sorry for this it's going to be at jwt dot in this case we're going to have an authorized loader so that's going to be the decorator and then the handler function will be uh, missing token callback and here we shall also have the error so you should notice that the expired token callback takes in the jwt header which i actually spelled wrong this is going to be the jwt header as well as the data that is contained within the jwt well as for the invalid token callback we only have the error that's going to be returned and we also have the missing token callback it also takes in the error so there are some that will take in other extra arguments while some others will only take in the error argument so what you're going to do is to simply return a response now let me fix the indentation right here and what you shall have here is going to be uh, let's say this is going to be a missing token so we shall have our request does not contain so we basically return some friendly message so here we can say something like uh, request does not so this is going to be request does not contain a valid token and this will be just enough so we can also change the error right here and we are going to call this uh, authorization required so we basically want a user to provide a valid token for them to be able to go on with a request and for each of these errors what you need to throw is a status code for showing that the user is not actually authorized to access that specific protected endpoint so what you're going to do is to go ahead and provide those so what i'll do is to come right here and say comma so that a purpose status code for returning when a user has provided a token that's expired is going to be the 401 unauthorized status code so we need to do the same thing and provide it for the rest of the error handler functions and we shall be good to go now if i save hoping that our server is running our server is going to restart so let's go ahead and test this so if i go back to my postman right here and try to basically carry out this request without a valid token so if i send we're now going to have our message just like we wrote it right here so that is going to be the one for our request not containing a valid token so this is going to also return for zero one unauthorized so if you go ahead and basically undo what we did we can now be able to access our our resources just like you see right here but let's say we did something to our token or let's say we deleted some of the segments that our token has so if i go ahead and maybe delete the last segment right here and then try to send in this case we're now going to see something like signature verification failed and that's going to be just like how we provided this now in case we had uh, an expired token still when you go ahead and provide that in here within our authorization headers we shall be able to get an error message that will be what we actually defined right here and that is how you handle errors that are provided within flash jwt extended so this can be for the various scenarios of the errors that you may encounter when dealing with providing your JWT to access a specific endpoint.